I'm gonna tell you eight reasons why you should consider a molded fiberglass trailer. So reason number one why we like molded fiberglass trailers is that there are many options to choose from. If you want a big trailer, you want a small trailer, you know, there are a lot of options for you to choose from and many, many floor plans as well. There are a lot of options for molded fiberglass manufacturers. Enough that you should be able to find a trailer that you like that's in the size that you're looking for. There are a plethora of floor plans. Not like you would find in your traditional non-molded fiberglass trailer, but still there are a lot of different options for models and floor plans. Our very first molded fiberglass trailer was a Scamp, and we loved our Scamp. And we loved our Scamp because we could tow it behind our four-cylinder RAV4, which was awesome. The only problem was with that floor plan of the Scamp was that we had a bed that was against the back window in the back of the trailer, and we would have to climb over, actually Doug would have to climb over me in the middle of the night, and he hated it because he hated waking me up, and I didn't like being woke up either. After that, we got our second molded fiberglass trailer, which is our Casita, which you're in right now. <laughs> and we love the Casita because it has the twin beds and so no climbing over anymore. I really like that. Doug likes it too. The second thing is that there are many options that are lightweight and easy to tow. Like I mentioned the Scamp, and there are lots of other molded fiberglass trailers that are lightweight that you could tow with a smaller vehicle. Now with our Casita, we have been towing our Casita with a Toyota Venza. It's a six cylinder Toyota Venza with a tow package, and that worked fine. And then Doug wanted to get a new truck, so he got a Toyota Tacoma. So now we pull it with the Tacoma, and that works great. But like I said, with the Scamp, we towed that with a four cylinder SUV and that worked great for us. And there are other lightweight trailers that I can think of right now. The Meerkat, the Happier Camper HC1 and Barefoot Trailers, which is, I believe is supposed to come out this year and really cute, adorable little trailers they are. If you haven't seen our video about the updates for 2021 fiberglass trailers, I'll put a link in the description and you can check that out just to see what's new. And that Barefoot Trailer is supposed to be coming on board here pretty soon. So that looks like a really exciting option, especially if you're looking for something really small. I know that the Snoozy 2 is small. I don't know what the weight is though. So the third reason why you might consider a molded fiberglass trailer is that they're aerodynamic. And so, whoop, you know, with the wind going around like that and it just makes it easier to tow and that saves you gas. So that's a good thing. And I know that the Snoozy 2, I talked to the owner a little while ago and he said that they'd actually done some wind tunnel tests on it to prove that it was more aerodynamic than other trailers. He said any other trailer. And the owner said that the Snoozy 2 is the most aerodynamic trailer on the market. So that's quite a claim. You might want to check out Snoozy 2. They are cute little trailers. So fiberglass is easier to shape because of the molds than like aluminum. So aluminum is also aerodynamic, but molded fiberglass because of the smooth shape is a lot more aerodynamic even than an Airstream. The shape along with a lighter weight reduces noise and improves stability and also, like I said before, fuel economy. And many fiberglass trailers have a lower center of gravity for better road stability and decreased wind resistance. The fourth thing that's really great about the molded fiberglass trailer is that the systems are easy to access. So I've seen some videos of people absolutely pulling their trailers apart, like just cutting in to the inside of the trailer to get to some of the systems. And with a molded fiberglass trailer, obviously you wouldn't want to do that. So they've designed it so there are access hatches that you can get to everything. So if you need to get to the battery system or you need to get to the electrical system, you need to access the plumbing. Those things are a lot easier to access. Most of the access is in cupboards or cabinets or outside storage systems and that way you can get to all your systems. So if you need a repair or if somebody needs to repair them then they're not cutting into your trailer which I think is a huge benefit. So the fifth thing I think is really great about the molded fiberglass trailer is that it's very low maintenance. It's made of really durable material. If you follow the manufacturer's maintenance recommendations you you'll have a beautiful trailer for years to come. Reason number six is that molded fiberglass trailers are long lasting. A traditional trailer just after a few years can start looking scuffed up and messed up. And you know, you could have aluminum that is has dings and 
decals that are coming off. Some 20 year old molded fiberglass trailers even look brand new. In fact, I did a video on a 2003 Casita and I couldn't tell that that trailer was a 2003. It looks so great because the owner took care of it and he kept it polished and the outside was shiny. And that's really helpful if you're in a situation where you're in a RV park that maybe question how old your vehicle is or they have some kind of an age restriction because they wouldn't even know. They wouldn't even know how old your trailer is because if you maintain it and you keep it up, it could look brand new. That maintenance, it's like once or twice a year that you have to do. So it's not a huge, it's a big deal when you do it on that day. It's going to take you a while to clean it and polish it. But once you do, then you're done for six months to a year. So the seventh thing that I think is really a great bonus about molded fiberglass trailers is that they're strong and durable, even more so than aluminum. And if you think about aluminum and you think about an Airstream trailer, if you get a little ding or dent on your Airstream trailer, oh, that is going to be a costly repair. On a molded fiberglass trailer, if you need to do a repair, which doesn't happen very often because it's very durable, the repair process is much simpler and much less less expensive than a repair on aluminum. Molded fiberglass trailers are known to be resistant to the elements, to the wind, to the rain, to the sun. Also fluctuating temperatures and UV rays coming down. Molded fiberglass is resistant to all those elements. And like I said, with proper maintenance, the outside shell will stay beautiful and shiny for a really long time. Yep, just clean them up, buff them up, and they'll look just like brand new. So it ages well and it stays white, which is nice so you don't have to worry about like with the aluminum trailer, you have to worry about oxidation and you don't have those issues with molded fiberglass. So also the thing about molded fiberglass is it's not as vulnerable to water intrusion as a traditional trailer would be. The reason why that is, is because everything's sealed up and there's no place for water to get in. I mean, there are, obviously there are gonna be a few places. There's gonna be your fan and anything else on the roof. Obviously you wanna make sure that that's well sealed, but there aren't any seams. Like if you think about a traditional trailer, about how there are seams, there are seams everywhere on a traditional trailer where they put it together. And those are places that can come apart and can leak. And if you get a leak in those trailers, it's going to be devastating. I mean, really, really difficult to repair and it could be very costly. If you get a leak in a molded fiberglass trailer, I guess there's a potential that you could ruin the flooring or you could have mold and that's a problem. But there isn't really much else to go wrong. On our casita, I know that the floor is even molded fiberglass because we pulled the floor up before. And so that's another area that can't rot. And that's a benefit. You know, that's what goes again to the durability and long lastingness of the trailer is that molded fiberglass, it doesn't rot, it doesn't decompose, and they're generally pretty watertight. We did have a problem one time in our scamp where there was water getting in through the fan in the roof, but we we haven't had any problems at all with the casita. And the scamp was a 2003, so. But again, you just, you'd make the repair. There was some wood molding around the fan that had to be replaced and we sealed it up and then it was great after that. So the other thing about is the shape. The shape of the trailer helps to keep water intrusion out. Now, if you have a flat top, then you're gonna have water sitting on the flat top of your roof. But when you've got um, this kind of configuration, you know, a curved setup, well, the water just runs down and then and that's another reason why you don't have issues with water getting inside your trailer. The other thing about durability is that because these trailers are durable, you can take them off the beaten path and not have to worry about them getting beat up. Obviously, I wouldn't um, do rock crawling over them, but you can definitely, and we have taken our trailer off the beaten path and onto dirt roads and haven't had a problem with it. So they're really great and durable for getting off the beaten path and for getting out in nature and away from people, which we love. Not that we don't like you. We like you. So other thing talking about durability is that when you have a flat roof on a traditional trailer, then you've got to worry about the sun beating down, the UV rays, elements, the rain that um, really wreaks havoc on those traditional trailers. And you just don't have that in molded fiberglass trailers. It's not an issue at all. Like I said, the water just drains off. Um, yeah, so molded fiberglass trailers don't have slide out. So you don't have the problems that you would have with the slide out. You don't get the space 
either, but also you don't get the problems with the slide outs. Slide outs have leaks. They frequently fail after time and molded fiberglass trailers just don't have that issue because they don't have slide outs. So the thing about slide outs is that they can be a huge issue. If you can't get your slide in and you're at a campground, you're gonna have to drive down the road with that slide out or you're gonna have to get somebody to fix it right away. And that is usually not a good option since slide outs are notorious for malfunction, especially on a less expensive trailer. I mean, obviously the more money you pay, you would hope that you get a better slide and a better mechanism for your slide. But with the molded fiberglass trailers, you just don't really have to worry about this slide out situation because they don't have any. Number eight has been really prevalent right now is that molded fiberglass trailers have a really good resale value and right now more than ever people are selling their used molded fiberglass trailers for more money than you can buy a new one and that's because of the demand and this is just a really crazy year for everybody wants to get out there and get camping because they can't do anything else and they want to get out of their house and I can't blame them because I want to get out of my house too. So the resale value is crazy high right now and if you think that you can you know you've got a 2019 trailer and you can sell that trailer for as much as you can for a brand new trailer for casita it's an 18 month wait right now to get a new casita and again like i said used trailers you can hardly tell that they've even been used and i know that some people are really weird about the bathroom like maybe you don't want to use the bathroom because somebody else has used it and so i get that and you know so you wait you're 18 months right now. Resale value is really good. We sold our 2003 Scamp five years. We had it for five years and we sold it for more than we paid for it. And right now we could certainly sell our Casita for more than we paid for it. There's a lot of competition to buy them because they only make so many, especially with a really small trailer like a Scamp. You get a Scamp with a bathroom and it's right now it's going to be really a premium price for a tiny little trailer but with so many good things to say about these molded fiberglass trailers I think it's worth your investment um, it's worth your time to go out and look for one it's worth your money to pay for something that you know is going to last for a really long time so the demand continues for these trailers that are very sought after but they can be found. I, have, I see them for sale right now. I've seen many casitas for sale. Of course, it's a premium price right now, but it's a premium market. So it's a premium price for everything. And I think it's worthwhile investment. So if you'd like to see some updates on what happened in 2021 with fiberglass trailers, check out this video. And then if you'd like to see a playlist on many of the fiberglass trailers that I have reviewed, then check out this video and maybe you can find one that's right for you.